As a seasoned investor, could you explain some of the difficulties you face as a portfolio manager in an ultra-low interest rate environment? Well, I think for income-oriented investors, which is true for me for some of my funds, it's very difficult to actually find bonds to buy. There's an insatiable appetite by other investors wanting to buy bonds, especially better quality bonds or high yield bonds with a high yield for companies that look as if they're going to continue to be a going concern. And it isn't just a question of the price, it's a question of availability. Often we can't find bonds to buy, even though they're freely quoted. Of the three blends of funds you manage, fixed income, capital appreciation, and high yield, which is currently the most challenging investment environment and why? I think the high yield fund is the most challenging, the reason being the lack of supply, the lack of liquidity. It's difficult to sell merchandise if there's any whiff of bad news. And on the other hand, it's very difficult to buy bonds. Uh, New issue bonds are highly sought after and new deals often subscribed multiple times over. And secondary bonds held in portfolios really don't come out for sale because people become long-term investors because they don't have any other alternatives. With the Federal Reserve seemingly boxed in on interest rates, do you find that more investors are creeping into your space? And if so, how is this affecting your ability to manage those portfolios? Well, we've seen the hunger for yield affect both the fixed income part of the market and the equity part of the market, where people have driven up the price of many dividend-paying stocks to levels that we think are above their intrinsic value. People are so hungry for yield. So it makes the investment task a little more difficult because when some sectors are overvalued because people are paying more for that future dividend stream, you need to be a little bit more selective if you're total return oriented, which we are on the equity side. For the past decade, the trend for interest rates has been emphatically lower. Your high yield fund is the top performer of the three portfolios you manage over that time frame, yet it ranks the lowest of the three in the past year. What is the outlook for high yield? I think high yield will continue to be a mid-single digit return. Um, So far this year, the lower quality bonds, especially energy materials, have had a big bounce back, especially in the second quarter, as it looked that the pressure was off commodities and we might see a little bit more acceleration in growth from China. Uh, So we had a big bounce back there in the lower tier. But I think for the high yield market overall, we'll pretty much earn the coupon, maybe a little capital appreciation. So in other words, four to say six or seven percent, the coupon, the appreciation, even if we have treasury rates push up, the average advantage for high yield bonds is over 500 basis points. So that in a low default world is enough to allow those bonds to hold their value, go up in price down in yield. Which sector do you see outpacing the market through year-end? I think the consumer sectors in the U.S. will continue to do well. Consumer staples, selectively consumer discretionary. Many people are looking to lean more towards a cyclical side of the economy. But I think consumer incomes, employment are going to surprise on the upside. And so although these sectors may seem fully valued, I still think they have room to go higher. Which sector do you see underperforming the market through year-end? I think the commodity sector is still problematic because of excess supply, very stagnant demand, especially from emerging market. And I think the utility sector, which has been a home run so far this year, is likely to be very, very flattish, simply because it's enjoyed such relative outperformance, and especially because other sectors will begin to tick up the slack and start to accelerate in growth. What is the house view at Wells Fargo of equity market performance through the end of the year? I would say we are moderately optimistic. Uh, we are looking for mid single digit returns from the equity market, mid to high single digit returns over the balance of the year, with reflection that the economy is only growing around 2%. So they're optimistic, but modestly so.